Hi friends, I'm Katie Brinkley and you're listening to a Rocky Mountain Marketing Quick Cast. These bite-sized episodes are released every Thursday and are going to give you the latest news and tips in the world of social media that are happening right now. Let's dive in to today's Quick Cast episode. Welcome back to another Rocky Mountain Marketing Quick Cast episode. As I sit here getting ready to, uh, to to put together today's podcast episode, I'm in full blown summit mode. I know you got for those regular listeners, uh, Social Profit Lab is coming with very very soon, and 40 speakers over four days requires a ton of work. Not only am I putting together the Social Profit Lab. I'm also speaking at PodFest. I'm also presenting for Network After Work. I'm also growing and launching a mastermind. And as I'm doing all of the things, I'm, uh, it feels like I'm being pulled in 40 different directions. I still have my agency. I still have my one-on-one coaching clients. And it's, it's sometimes hard as an entrepreneur to focus in on the little things because we're trying to do all the things to make sure that we're taking the right steps in our business for growth, that we're taking the right steps in our business so that we, we can succeed. I I was talking with my daughter this morning, Evelyn, she's eight and she's home from school because it's, it's a snow day here. And I was heading out the door and she said, well, mom, I wish you could just stay home today. And it, it broke my heart a little bit because I, I wanted to stay home. I wanted to be at home with her so that I could, I mean, that's the whole reason that I started my business, right? That's the whole reason why we, we decide to go into the world of entrepreneurship, you know, work, whatever, you know, what, choose the hours that you want to work. But sometimes things just don't work out that way for our business. Sometimes we do have to go in and put in the extra time, put in the extra hours so that we can see that a year from now. And sometimes it gets, it's hard for us not to get caught up in the year from now goals and ideas that sometimes we forget about the little things that we need to do that could have a huge impact on our business. I talk about this because I've, I've been reminded about it a lot after recording a lot of these sessions for Social Profit Lab a lot of the reminders that these speakers, some of these speakers are sharing, they're so easy to overlook because we're focused on doing all the things. We're focused on that next milestone in our business. And just last year, I found this stat on Statista, uh, Statista, (laughs) that the United States reached over 302 million social media users in 2022 which is a number that's projected to increase to over 327 million users within the next five years by 2027. That's a huge amount of people that are on social media. The reason I bring up that number is because I am so, I'm so invested in this space. I'm so invested in social media and growth and strategies that sometimes I need to take that step back and see the bigger picture where a lot of these a lot of business owners might not be utilizing social media to the best of their abilities because they haven't seen the results from it. They haven't seen the the statistics. They haven't seen the leads coming in. But with over 300 million people in the United States alone using social media and a number that's projected to go up, I find it hard to believe that you can't get results. You can't use it as a marketing tool. And, and I think that one of the biggest reasons for this is that a lot of businesses who are using social media are doing it and they're only, they're, they're doing a, that splay, that, that cast out. I mean, you get out on every single social media platform known to mankind, but that's why you're not seeing results. That's why you're not seeing the leads come in. Because different platforms have different users. They have different uh, ways to post on social media. And as a business owner, you need to be aware of which platforms your ideal client, your ideal target audience is using. 
and then go all in on that one platform. Now, in 2023, I've just started implementing Facebook again. LinkedIn, Instagram, those are my two biggest lead sources. Those are where I find the most organic inbound leads. I have amazing power partners on those two platforms that we're having DM conversations with on a regular basis. LinkedIn and Instagram have been my jam for the past three years. 2023, I'm starting to incorporate Facebook once again. Because I have the time, I have the capacity to give that platform the attention that it deserves. I can't just post something that I created on Instagram and share it to my my Facebook page. It is a shortcut. Yes, Mark Zuckerberg does own both. But you go to Instagram to get a certain type of content. You wouldn't turn on the news and expect to have the same sort of sports coverage as you would if you turned on ESPN. Does that make sense? If, you're, if you go to ESPN, you know you're going to hear from all, about all the sports world, all the sports, all the teams, whereas if you turn on your local news and you happen to catch the seven-minute you know, sports, <laughs> sports section, they're only going to be talking about the local sports that are probably having breaking news or that are currently, the sports teams are currently playing. And that's how you have to treat your social media. When you show up on these platforms, show up and utilize all the different ways that they want you to post. LinkedIn newsletters, an incredible tool on LinkedIn that you can build out an email list. If you haven't listened to the episode with Judy Fox, we do a deep dive on LinkedIn newsletters. It's a great episode. But this is where there's certain features that each platform has And when you utilize these features, you're going to see the results. So as we're taking this time in 2023, we have all the things that we have, that we want to do this year. We have all the goals that we're, they're still, you know, tapes to the side of our computer monitors. Uh, We're, we're checking in and make new doing the check marks of, Hey, I completed this. I completed that. I invite you to take that step back and really focus in on one social channel for the first quarter, the first six months, even the first th- this year, just focus in on one channel and s- start doing less. Stop trying to do all the things because your audience is on social media. If you're not seeing leads from it, you just haven't been utilizing it to the best of that platform's abilities. It's a cost effective marketing tool. It's one of the best ways to build brand awareness, community. Uh, no, here are your customers uh, know, like, and and trust factor, what they want from you, build that relationship. And it makes engaging and reaching a large audience very effective and easy. It's an ideal tool for your marketing in 2023. Organically, you don't need to be doing paid ads. Take that step back and focus in on how you can effectively show up on just that one platform this year And then you can start adding in more. Take the time and focus in on making sure everything that you're doing online is the most effective. And I promise you, you will see results this year with your social media efforts. Thanks so much for tuning in to this quick tip podcast episode of Rocky Mountain Marketing. Be sure to sign up for Social Profit Lab, which is the four-day event happening February 21st through 24th. We're going to bring together 40 different experts for you, giving you the different tips and insights and best practices so that you can level up your business in 2023, because it could be just one small change that has massive results. Go to socialprofitlab.com to get all the details and secure your spot today. It's free. So be sure to join us and we'll see you in the next episode.